Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you what to do if your Steam game launches then closes on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update the graphics card driver. This issue relates a lot to the graphics card drivers, so let's fix that. Right click your Windows button, then select Device Manager, afterwards expand in the Device Manager window Display Adapters, then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now in here click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to locate the best available drivers for you. Now if you do not have it on your PC, make sure to open up your browser and access the official manufacturer website for the graphics card that you have. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you will be taken directly to the solution. Next in line, another useful solution is to delete clientregistry.blob. So open up an instance of File Explorer, then navigate to the following location, your C drive and program files x86 and lastly expand Steam. Now just locate the clientregistry.blob file and simply delete it. Once you delete this file, make sure to restart your Steam application and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the game in compatibility mode. Now to do this, right click on your game icon, then select the properties option. In here, click on the compatibility tab and make sure to tick the box next to run this program in compatibility mode 4 and simply select Windows 7 or Windows 8. Now as well, tick the box next to run this program as an administrator, then click on apply and OK to save the changes and try your game. Next in line, another useful solution is to verify the game's cache. Now to do this, open up Steam, then right click on the game that's problematic for you, select the properties option, then click the local files tab, and then select the verify integrity of game files option to validate the cache. Wait a bit until it's done and you'll see that Steam will attempt to automatically fix your game files. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to delete the app cache folder. To do this, open up an instance of File Explorer, then navigate to the following location, your C drive, then open up Program Files x86, then double click on Steam and simply select the folder and delete it from this list. And now you can just check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.